a choice. To pick a side. To take up arms. And to fight for your city. Yo, what's up guys? I want to talk about the new things coming in the next update, plus the new playstyle with the new Carleon cape. Let's get into it, boys. Alright, we're going to get to the first Faction Warfare mount. This is one that comes from Carleon. This is going to be the number one ganking mount for these Faction Warfares. The ability on your queue is called Hunter's Mark. It's a buff that you put on an enemy player. And the enemy player leaves a little trail behind them, a little scent. And then you go collect that and increase your movement speed. So if they're above 80% health, it's a 3% per collection. If they're below 80% health, it's a higher collection up to, t to 10%. So this is going to be your number one ganking mount for the Faction Warfare. Alrighty, the next one is going to be your Limehurst mount. This ability is called Fearless Rush, and it's just a buff that you can just rush into a direction, and it's going to make you immune to all crowd control effects. This is going to be really strong, so you can't get, like, CC'd and, like, stunned, and that way, you know, you can get away. Alright, so the next mount is going to be from Martlock, and the ability is called Steadfast, and it's a channeled buff. Now, this one is unique because when you're channeling it, you get stacks for enemies hitting you. So depending on how many enemies hit you during your channel, depends on how fast your movement speed is. So it could be 15, 30, 55, 85, or if you get seven stacks of this, which is not that hard to get seven stacks, you have 120% movement speed. So this is gonna be a really awesome mount. Now the next mount comes from Thetford and the ability is called Shed Skin. And what this does is it just cleanses you of all crowd controls, effects, and debuffs, and damage over time. So if anybody has a dot on you, or any kind of slow or something like that, it just cleanses it all for you. And then you're able to just good to go. So it's a very slippery <laughs> salamander. Anyway, it's, it allowed you to get away and have a fast escape. Alrighty, and the next mount comes from Fort Sterling. Now this one is called Winter's Call, and it's a buff and a crowd control all in one. So what it does is you let out a roar and increases your movement speed, but it also slows enemies around you in a 14 meter radius that have damaged you within the last three seconds. So depending on how many people have damaged you depends on how fast your movement speed is, kind of like earlier with the other mount. So this was really good because it also gives you a movement speed, but also slows around you. So it can be a nice kill potential or like setting up or just getting away if you want to like pill for somebody. And last we have the mount from Bridgewatch. Uh, this ability is called Zig. It's just a dash that you can do basically dash once, wait a second, and then you can dash again. Um, it's just going to be really useful to be able to get away from people. That's just, just flat out. Next, we'll talk about the new tooltip update. They just made it way more visible and easier to read, and they broke it down into categories for new players to be able to learn what their skills do, or even players that have been in the game for a while that haven't used certain weapons or armor. So they broke it down into a colors, so you're going to have red, which is damage, purple is a debuff, yellow is your CC, which is crowd control, you have blue, which is your buff, and you have green, which is healing. And I think this is really awesome to help push the game and give it a more modern look. It's just easier to read, and it just looks better on the eyes. Okay, so this next thing is super awesome. All of us have been waiting for this, and I'm so happy it's in the game. It's loadout presets, and if you're like a PvPer, you're ZVZing a lot, or even if you're doing everyday activities, it's going to allow you to access your gear faster with one click of a button. So you go in here, and you have a list of multiple presets that you can put in there. You can change it by color and name and all that and save it. And then once you have it saved, when you go to your chest or wherever you're going to like pick up your gear or whatever, on the top left you'll see a little thing where it says presets. You can click on it and the little drop down menu comes up and you can click like preset 2, PvP or ganking or whatever and it immediately puts the gear on you. Now it's pretty cool because if you don't have the full sets on there, it'll give you everything that is in the preset and be like, oh you're missing cape, boots and flask. So this is going to be super awesome. So if you're out PvPing or ZVZing or ganking or whatever, you die, you spawn back at your home or your city or whatever, 
go to your chest, boom, pop it back on, hop on your mount, and you're going back out and get back into the fight. This is awesome. So less downtime, more PvP, more fun. So the last thing we're going to talk about is the new Carleon Cape, the best for last. So this thing is amazing. So when you use your Q ability, it immediately resets your Q. So you can like dash dash if you have daggers on or, you know, double cartwheel or whatever. It's only a 26 second cooldown too, which is very short. And it's really strong if you're a stacking class, like, you know, axes, swords. I mean, it's really strong on maces, hammers. Um, so if you're a sword player, you can do iron wheel, QQ, and then you already got your E ready to go or QQ iron wheel. It's crazy. I was using it the other day with um, axes with the halberd. And I had the ability where you can where you, you stack your three Qs and then you jump in and then you have raging blades on and then you hit them with your E with full three stacks. Massive on-demand burst damage. I cannot wait to play with this. There's gonna be so much fun PPP action to have with this. This thing is awesome. So check out the Carleon Cape when it comes out. Cause any stacking class or e even like utility, like I said with double cartwheel, this thing is gonna be amazing for PvP. Uh, open world, ZBZs, whatever. It's going to be awesome. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out and kicking it with me. I'm going to have tons of Faction Warfare videos whenever this patch hits. I'm super excited for this patch. If you want to come hang out and kick it with me over at the Twitch, that'd be pretty rad. If not, I'll see you till next time, boys. Peace.